Hey, my name is Misty and I read The Way Out by Alan Gordon six months ago and it has been so transformational. If you haven't watched before, I posted kind of my chronic pain story, scoliosis, spinal fusion, um, aging, um, all the things. So you can go back and look at that video. And then I read the book and started somatic tracking and I continued to chronicle that experience, um, what, what happened to my body, my mind, my pain, anxiety, all the things that happened after reading the book. And I kind of went through it day by day, week by week. You can go back and watch those videos down below. Um, so here we are at six months, six month update after starting somatic tracking and doing pain reprocessing therapy. And I am doing really well. My last video was four months and I said I was 95. I'm, maybe I'm 95 and a half, maybe 96. I don't know. I, I wouldn't say that I'm quite 100% where I want to be, um, but I am so much improved. I'm, I'm better than where I was um, this time a year ago, Better, way better than I was this time six, or six months ago. Um, I've mentioned some jaw pain that I've had ear and jaw pain for many years, and that is just about gone. I, I can't even think of the last time that that appeared. And some store anxiety, and I took my daughter shopping, like clothes shopping the other day, and we had a good time, and I didn't have any anxiety. I haven't been having grocery store anxiety. I was able to go make a really big purchase for a camping trip for my daughter and her friends. And, um, and I lifted big, um, big crates of 40, um, 40 water bottles, you know, and I was able to get it on my cart. I was able to get it off my cart and into the trunk of my car. I mean, this is huge guys. A few months ago, I would not have been able to do that. Um, so that's awesome. Lifting more, bending more, um, just just feeling really good. Um, I did have one kind of crazy little setback this week. It was Thursday. Today is Saturday. So three days ago, I was in the middle of my yard. I handed a man a check for taking down a tree in my yard. He was he was pleasant, delightful. He gave me a receipt. I turned around. And it felt like my yard was a sponge. My yard wasn't a sponge. It was my normal yard. But um, but it felt like I was walking across a sponge. And um, every step seemed um, wobbly underneath me. And with every wobbly step, my back felt very tight. And... I slowly wobbled my way back into my house and I told myself that I was okay and I gave myself grace and and it went away pretty quickly. Um, probably by the time I reached two feet inside my door, I felt fine again. And so I don't know. I don't know what that was about, but I think if I had said, oh no, this is happening again, um, then it would have continued and persisted. But I'm so proud of myself that I was able to recognize it and say, whoa, this, you're, you're okay, Misty. Th this is just a, a one-off. And so, yeah, whenever I'm feeling some kind of crazy one-off pain, I just remind myself, like, you're okay. You're okay. Um, it's not going to be this way forever. But um, in general, I am, I'm doing a lot of exercise. Um, one thing I'll say about exercise totally a mindset. If I feel like I'm exercising to improve my pain symptoms, then my pain symptoms will worsen. If I feel like I'm exercising because I'm healthy and I just want to be healthy and strong and fit, then no issues really with, um, with exercise. So six months, feeling really good totally recommend the book. If you haven't read it, if you have any chronic pain, read The Way Out by Alan Gordon. Highly recommend. Have a good day. Oh, one more, one more thing I wanted to say was notice the good. 
especially, man, it's spring season and buds are popping up all over the trees and the ground and it's beautiful and the weather's beautiful and the sun is beautiful and the nights are longer and, um, and whatever you can do to just enjoy life and enjoy the good and notice the good will help take your pain away.